I do it all. <laughs> so rock is one aspect of it. Um, my probably biggest performing band is called Eden, uh, which is my middle name. And that band is a lot more rockin'. Like in that band, yeah, I'm a rocker chick. <laughs> it's like rock, blues, pop, or jumping around. I'm wailing for hours. Like that's rock. But I also have a jazz band where I'm not a rocker chick anymore. I'm now more like jazz rock. It's different vibe. I have a folk band. Um, so there's always a rock element to my music because I have this raspy tone um, that I can kind of turn on and off. But I have different styles that that blends in with. My dad's a musician as well. Uh, he still performs and records. Um, so he got us started right out of the gate, really. So I've literally been singing since I could talk. Um, wrote, started writing songs when I was like four or five <laughs> like it's just always been a part of my life so i grew up singing with my two other sisters um paige in ireland and yeah so we all sang as a family like at church and you know talent shows and stuff and we all did musicals growing up and basically every choir class there is when i was maybe 21 i realized i could actually make this a career yeah um it's just kind of something our culture doesn't always teach or support the fact that we can have a career in the arts mm -hmm. it's sort of like taught as you grow up like that's a hobby and then you pick another job to make money mm -hmm. so when i was about 21 i realized that that was just a belief and if i change my belief i can do whatever the heck i want <laughs> so i changed my career path and i went full into music um and it took a long time for it to actually be a career you know yeah. and actually make money it's a lot of people don't get past the point of investing your time mm -hmm. because you're not just going to start performing and making money and getting big you know yeah. you have to invest a lot of time and energy yeah so what was it 2020 um it was kind of the tail end of covid um or later on in covid um they were doing virtual auditions and i had nothing else to do because i was just in my house locked in <laughs> Uh, so I, yeah, auditioned just over my phone from my bed um, and made it to round after round after round. There's a lot of rounds before you actually get to even go to L.A. or even get on TV. It's like there's so much back process. Because of COVID, they kept pushing back production. So all in all, I kind of lived um, in L.A. for like six months. Um, three show. different times, yeah. Yeah, and then so I ended up going there, prepping, and then, yeah. And so I did Zombie, The Cranberries, Dreams, Black Hole's, uh, Dreams, I played the Mac, Black Hole Sun, our sound garden, and I was going to do Barracuda, which my heart. Um, that wasn't televised, but it is online recorded in streaming. Like what you saw on TV was about the extent of which I worked with the celebrity judge, yeah. Kelly Clarkson, um, but I had um, I had actual vocal coaches and like choreographers and wardrobe people and all these other things behind the scenes, the ones that aren't actually on TV. The thing behind the curtain has completely ruined reality TV for me. <laughs> uh, it's, all, it's not scripted per se, um, but it is very edited. You're playing them and they're playing it basically. So you're, I put my image in their hands. In exchange for exposure and boosting up my artistry. The reason I did it was for the exposure factor. It wasn't like to win or anything. I don't care about that. It was just, it's really hard as an independent musician. You kind of hit a ceiling and like, how do you pop to the next level? Um, Cause I could play around all the time, but I needed something to like boost me up. And so that's why I did that. Cause I knew with one audition, if I could get that on TV, millions of people see that just like that. All the things that I have wanted to do when I set out to do music as a career, I've done them. And I don't like know what next big goal is because these things that you think you're chasing when you actually do them it's like maybe not as fulfilling as you thought like doing amp camp that's way more fulfilling well not way more fulfilling but equally as fulfilling as playing to a room of 10,000 people 
like playing the Wanwu Theater, did that, did MCAP, did that, both very fulfilling. Those things are, like that is fulfilling enough to just hear these stories of changing people with my music or healing and yeah, I just, I don't know what the next steps are because I'm loving right now. <laughs> You can find me everywhere under Savannah Woods Music. Highly Googleable. You can just Google Savannah Woods, you'll find everything. I'm on every streaming platform. Um, Savannah Woods Music on all social medias. And Savannah without an H. We're like a desert and a forest. S A B A N N A Woods Music um, dot com. Easy to find my music. Easy to find me. I'm around all the time. All the time. All right. Yeah.